Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here. And in this video, we'll be talking about Windows 11. So we're not going to do any unboxing or uh, gadget reviews, but we'll be talking about how to get Windows 11 right now. So Windows 11 is now RTM, that means released to manufacturing. So this is the final version of Windows 11 and this is now available for upgrade. Now Windows 11 uh, upgrade is being rolled out as a free upgrade. Now there are a couple of things to know. Uh, that is one is uh, if your PC is eligible, then you will get the Windows 11 upgrade for free. But then when it will be rolled out, that depends uh, on a lot of criteria. Microsoft has said that the upgrade rollout will be in a phased manner. That means you may not get it today. You may not get it this year. You might get it next year as well, but it will be a phased rollout. Uh, it will span across uh, to next year as well. But you can also get Windows 11 right now, right today. So we'll be talking about how to do that. Uh, before that, uh, if your PC is eligible, how to find out, we'll share the link in the description. We have written a lot of articles on how to see whether your PC is right now eligible for upgrade to Windows 11. So you can check out that link. And if your PC is eligible for upgrade, you can right away upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. Once again, you should be having a genuine Windows 10 license to upgrade to Windows 11. If it is pirated, you might not be able to uh, upgrade. But again, if you have a, a genuine OEM PC, you should be able to upgrade uh, to Windows 11. So let's get started. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. Right now we have an uh, ASUS PC. This is running on Windows uh, 10 actually. And we're going to do a Windows 11 upgrade. So this is Windows 10 right now. And uh, this is the link uh, where you need to go. Uh, first, what you need to do is uh, just check uh, if your PC uh, uh, gets the system requirements correct. So for that, uh, we have a link in the description to check how to see if your PC meets the requirement. There is an app actually. Uh, once you do that, uh, you can get to see whether you are eligible for a free upgrade. Now, what you need to do is to visit www.microsoft.com slash enus slash software download slash windows 11 the link is available once again in the description of this video so once you go there you can see download windows 11 uh, there are three options for installing or creating windows 11 media now we'll go with uh, the option where you have to upgrade from windows uh, 10 because other two options you need a genuine license key but if you are already using windows 10 uh, then you can upgrade here so this is the windows 11 installation assistant so if you go scroll down you can see windows 11 assistant and uh, before you log in before you begin you can see that upgrade to windows 10 pc uh, windows 11 then now uh, you get uh, you can see here you need to have a windows 10 license your pc must have windows 10 version 2004 or higher uh, and then uh, you need your PC should meet the Windows 11 device uh, specification. Again, those are available in the link in the description. Now, uh, just uh, click download now. So you can see that now it's downloaded. So just opening it. So I'm just going to open it. So again, once again, you need to be an administrator to start installing. So you can see here, this is the first step. Use the PC help app to check the compatibility. So you need to get the PC app. So here we have the link. So click here. And this will download the uh, the PC health check application. So here you can see download PC health check application. So this will again once again download. So open the file again. So just accept the terms and condition. This again from Microsoft. You can just go and install it. So finish and uh, now this will check the PC health. Uh, so here you can see here check now button is there. So just click here. And you can see that your PC meets Windows 11 requirement and uh, you can see a red or a rather green tick mark. If there is a red tick mark, then you can't install Windows 11 right now and you might have to fix the issue. So uh, you can see all the results. So everything is there in this PC. So some minimum requirements are there. TPM 2.0 should be enabled. The processor is supported. Then uh, 4 gigabyte RAM should be minimum 64 gigabyte or uh, higher storage is required. So a lot of criteria. So we are uh, uh, good to go with uh, the options. So let's just uh, go ahead, come back here. Now just click refresh and you can see that install Windows 11 option comes up. So what you need to do is just uh, accept and uh, install again. So you can see that now it's downloading. Uh, step one of three downloading. Now downloading will take some time based on uh, uh, the uh, size of the file and the internet connection. So if you are a very high speed internet connection, it will be downloaded in pretty quick time. But if you are a slow connection, again, it will take some time. So let's just wait for this to finish and then we'll come back to installing Windows 11. 
So now we have completed the download process. Now uh, Windows is verifying the downloaded file. So this will uh, take very less time because it's just a verification process. So once this is done, we have Windows uh, will start the installation process. Now remember this uh, PC will uh, restart multiple times. So a couple of things to uh, take care. So you can see here right now, it's okay to keep your PC running because you can uh, do your own work with this PC. Uh, but once uh, the uh, installation starts, it will restart multiple times. So keep uh, your work safe. And remember, if you are using a laptop, keep your uh, laptop uh, to power or uh, at least you might you might need to have the uh, battery charged to full percentage because in between if it goes off, then the installation process will be uh, messed up and uh, you might not be able to upgrade again. So that will uh, mess up uh, the Windows 11 installation. So uh, make sure your PC or laptop is connected uh, uh, to the power source and uh, uh, you have saved all your work. So now the installation is starting. So uh, you can see here once uh, this is 100 percentage it will show you to restart the PC and once you restart it will start installing the process. So we are not going into that process because it's very, very uh, simple and easy process. You don't have to do anything. Windows will install it by itself. So just this and uh, Windows will start the installation process. So uh, this is how you can uh, install Windows 11 right away. Uh, on your laptop or PC from Windows 10. So this process is very simple and you can get Windows 11 right now for free. So hope this video was useful. If you still have any doubts or queries, uh, do check the description. We have a lot of links uh, from our blog post which will uh, get you know more about Windows 11, the requirements and how to go ahead. So everything is there. If you still have any doubt, you can just ask in the comment section and we'll be ready to help you out with the installation. So that's it for this video. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.